Yeah, we are just kind of got to the range right now. Um, basically just setting up, huh? Gonna, uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to drop one at the 528 without doing any zero on it or anything. And I just want to kind of see what's going on. Um, kind of like real deal out in the field, you know, it was the range the other week and it seemed to be pretty good. So I just want to see if we're all good in the hood. Some hoop dreams, but no jumping like I'm at them. My pen is too clean, so I had to stick with rapping. My life is hella deep, dog. You couldn't okay, even lost. fathom. My goals are like Twitter. You can see I'm staying at them. I'm trying to be the go wax. I started from the bottom. I ain't going back. I'm popping like a zig. I'm breaking out. And I am hella lit. You want a couch? You hear about this port, Long Beach and uh, LA port? Right out that way. You have these big ones, these are the outliers. So in addition to these, up right by the port, there's over 60 ships that are this size or bigger. There's so much, they're, they're, they're so crowded in there, they're having to park out here almost eight miles away from the port. <laughs> he is begging to be shot. He has not moved an inch. He has moved. Yeah, he's turned a little here, there, but he moved. I could see him. I'm willing to shoot his ass. Like I said, if you give me the okay, I will take that shot. I don't think Randy wants it. If you look close, it has a sign on its side that says, shoot me. He's still there. He's still, He's still there. He's still there. His ass is to us. Where was I? You were low left. Low, low huh? left. Where is he now? He's right below where he was. He's just standing there, dude. He did not run off. He's got his ass to us? He's got his ass to us. He, He's looking at us. I'm going to hold a little wind. Yeah, I would hold a little left. I didn't really feel like I, I wasn't getting, I knew the wind was left to right. I didn't really kind of play anything in for how much. And uh, just really didn't, it wasn't a full broadside shot. And it just, to me, it just floated off to the right a little bit. I think the elevation, they said it was a little bit low, but if I probably would have been right on the wind, I probably would have been in the spot where it might have hit. So I just think it was not making that wind, I should have probably, should have probably made about a minute and a quarter for the wind on that shot, and I didn't do it. But we'll see what we can do.
That was beautiful, wasn't it? <laughs> I had a hard time seeing them. I wasn't too worried about shooting them because the horns and stuff were kind of goofy, so it wasn't like I was, you know, on some kind of uh, crazy mode or whatever. Um, so he's a little goofy, but it is what it is. I mean, there's definitely deer out here, so we're not going to have a lack of finding them. So this is still, uh, we've only been out here for a couple hours, and we've seen one big buck. And that one really, quite honestly, I, uh, I was at the outside of uh, sitting down and shooting. I was at 500 yards. And, uh, you know, I knew the wind was left to right, but I really didn't. I should have been a little bit more patient with them, getting them a little more broadside. And I, I should have held at least a minute and a quarter for wind. So that was kind of my fault on that one. But, uh, you know, that's the way it goes, man. I see a deer. He's moving. You got it. It's moving right to left. Right to left wind. Right to left. Just went. Hold right. Just went behind the bush. I got one out. Got him. Reload. Reload. I think I see him. Yeah, I see him. Yep. I'm going to shoot him. or something and <clears throat> I woke up this morning and I was stressed out about yesterday's miss because I felt like it was a good shot and I had the wrong program loaded in my binos so I was a minute and a half off I adjusted today got the right program dialed it in got a good shot off so we're back on it let's go get another one There it is, there's the third one. What's the one in the back? He just came out. Is that a shooter or not? Huh? Don't worry about the wind. Hi. Did he get him? He what? I'm watching him right now. Where is he? Yeah, he's down. He's, Where is he? No, he's not. Mark that bush. What bush? You can't see him. No one can see him, but you got that place marked, Jake? Looks like got him in the back. I couldn't really tell. I Could got you? two walking out. It went through him. I'll tell you when I see it. Right there. Yep. You see it? Yeah. Well, you a little puff right where it hit? Yep. And you want to hear something funny? I held right. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I'm going to say it was you a little. You see all that dust? That bullet didn't ever even, it just freaking went right through him. That thing never slowed down. No. I mean, you still got to be in that bush then. Yeah, he's in there. So, yeah, about 6 30 probably, we saw, no, well, Jake saw the first deer and it was too dark. And I mean, I knew where it was. It wasn't like I didn't know where it was at. I just couldn't really pick out. The, uh, the shape of it good enough because of the low light, but then about 642, I picked up on the shape and uh, he'd walk behind a bush and came out on the other side of it and took the shot. And then um, while all that chaos is going on, uh, <laughs> a bunch of other them came out. 
Jake said, grab the fucking Jake rifle. Jake said, grab the rival, <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Party starting. And Anthony. Set up a little bit down the road, waited for him, right? Yeah. And he was waiting. Two came out. And, uh, about five minutes for the other guy to shoot. Yeah, he's like, no, no, there's a third one, there's a third one. And Randy knows Anthony. I'm ready to shoot, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready to chop him. You want me to shoot him? I got him in my scope, I got him in my scope. <laughs> I'm ready to go. He said, no, no, wait, wait, wait. And all of a sudden, boom, I walked the third one. Yeah. Yeah, 375. Uh, you know, he's down there somewhere. We're going to go down and check him out. Yep, 6.52 so. a.m. We got the second one. We got the sun coming up. Yeah. And uh, I'll tell you, man, this is one of the greatest places in the world to hunt. And we've hunted in a lot of places around the world. And, uh, you know, this is right out of right out of my back door here. And uh, it's beautiful. It's super cool. Doesn't this guy's this guy's the best right here, man. <laughs> Thanks, brother. You're welcome, man. <laughs> yep, anytime. Got it. Let's go. Fucking looks almost identical to mine. It's a good shot, felt good about it. I was real impressed that he told me to grab the gun. Saw in the midst of the action, he saw a couple more and said, get the gun. So I ran out and did it. And you know, I felt good about the shot, I did. I held a little right, I'm glad I did. I see the entry wound, made sense. Um, it went right through him. I was a little nervous, honestly, because you know we didn't see him fall, but he went right into those bushes, just like he told us. Nothing gets any better than this, man. It's, uh, what is it, Friday morning in Catalina Island. We got in here yesterday afternoon, um, got all the guns sighted in, all the gear unloaded, went for a hunt yesterday afternoon. I, uh, I made Hunter 101 air. I had a shot on a nice buck yesterday afternoon. I missed it. I was low by what, maybe MOA and a half. Couldn't figure it out yesterday evening. Looked at all the ballistics, you know. Couldn't sleep well last night. I woke up this morning and I had an epiphany and I had the wrong ballistic program loaded in my binoculars. And uh, we got that figured out. Got the right one in there. We get up this morning, we head out. As soon as, this, before the sun even came up. Good old Jake spotted a couple bucks out there and I took one and Anthony got the one right after that. So, and then they were close enough together. We were able to have this picture, man. Nothing, <laughs> nothing better than hunting with my buddy from Texas. You, go, you know, my man from Fredericksburg. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So we are officially tonight halfway through our hunt and we have that we know of two hunters that have tagged out. There's the two of us that haven't and there's two that are down at the west end of the island that we haven't seen since 5.30 this morning. So we, uh, we're seeing bucks but they're way far off. Uh, we still have three more hunts. We'll get it done. Five fourteen. Keep going down the right. We're good. Okay, I'm on him. 275. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm on them. You good? I see them. Okay. When you're ready, go ahead and squeeze on. Okay, shoot him. Shoot him. He's going to move. Boom. <laughs> good job. Good shot. Good one. That's awesome. All right. Hell yeah, dude. We'll get him, dude. Hold it up, buddy. <laughs> Buck, man. Thanks again, guys. You're welcome. Uh, Super so, unique, right? Oh yeah, just how this front just comes up into right here and just swoops in. Just totally different than his, his right side, which is right. awesome. Totally, he has a little bit bigger, ma bigger mass on this side, I believe, a little bit, but not yeah. much. But it's, it's weird that basket's symmetrical, but they're different yeah, on either different. side. Yeah. Oh yes, of course. I'm glad we got got on him we had him at 265 and dropped the hammer on him came right into where we needed him yep that's for sure yeah beautiful buck yeah thanks guys for getting us getting yeah. us all set up helping making this happen of course and uh yeah another successful year in catalina yep gun worked yeah yes, it did, it did. <laughs> congratulations awesome. man thank you sir another one to wait what year is this for us this is, I think this is number five for me. It's number five for you? Yeah. Jimmy? 2013, <laughs> so I don't know what that is. Who you been, eight, you been, you been eight. with me for, uh, yeah. <laughs> since I was a pup. Yeah. Oh yeah, your first year. <laughs> My first year, yeah. yeah. We've been grinding it out together, boys. But every year, we get it done. It's getting better. Yeah, we do. Always gets better. That's what it's all about. Yep. There, friendship. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Just years, years of memory together and you know. Yeah. Non-stop, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Having fun with these critters, you'd chasing think, them. You'd think it'd be a lot easier hunt out here. It's California, it's LA County, it's Catalina. Who would know? It's just a place of Jurassic, man. It's, yeah, it's just insane. Every part of the island is just totally different. Yeah. You go to the west side of the island, the east side of the island, it's just all different terrain. If you, you know, don't want to get in some nasty shit, then yeah. you can go to the other side where the rolling oaks and just scrub oaks. It's everywhere, dude. It's just everywhere. Too, oh, it's, you know? that, and it's crazy over the years that I've been out here, you can see that the cactus has, in some areas, has been getting more and more, and it's just yeah, insane. That yeah. valley we hunted last night was just that beautiful whole, oh, ocean. Yeah. I mean, it was, that view me. was incredible. Yeah. Didn't really grow up hunting, but my dad, my dad had hunted deer back in Michigan, and when we moved to California, um, it wasn't really something that we, we grew up doing and Jimmy and I had, had talked about his hunting growing up as a kid and we got into archery and archery quickly turned into wanting to get into, uh, you know, chasing, chasing pigs, chasing deer, elk. And uh, yeah, and we ended up uh, getting introduced to Wildlife West in 2013 and uh, have been Jimmy's been coming back here for the last, what, eight years, and I've been here, this is my, my fifth fifth hunt here, and uh, yeah, it's uh, just an awesome way to uh, have, a, have a great time, make a lot of memories with, with friends, see God's country, and, and uh, um, you know, the opportunity to uh, take down one of these these critters is, is always pretty awesome and uh, my whole family we we all eat all wild game and it's just uh, awesome to be able to do this right in our backyard here in this beautiful country. Mm. I'm trying not to and let Andrew think for us. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be, gotta be coachable. They're out here every day, year after year. So it's hard. <laughs> you gotta listen to your guide.
green away. Good shot, Jimmy. Way to send it. Dude. I shot. What was that? 440. 440. Yeah, Redemption Ridge, the, uh, the first night out, we saw a really good buck and lost him, and it was really tough. But this is just brutal country, and just thankful that uh, it all came together. So he's a beautiful buck. I'm super happy. He's, he's on the ridge line. Go to the the power pole, 30 yards, 40 yards. I, I am. Why do I not freaking see him? He's in front of a bush. Go to find a main trail underneath that brush, 40 yards to the right of the power pole. Almost on the ridge line. Go to the power pole. Okay. Go, go right. Okay. 40 yards. God, I can't freaking see him. I see the power pole. Power pole, go right, front of the green bush, 40 yards. Oh, I see him now. I see him now. Ready? Are you on him? Yeah. You see him or no? Get your breathing right. You see him? Yeah. You got him? Okay. That was the doe. The buck's to the right. That was a doe. The buck is to the right. Dude, He's still standing right there on the trail. To the right of where I shot? Why do I freaking not see him? Is he running? Okay, I see him. Is that the doe? Is that the... I'm confused. He's walking. Do you see him? Oh, fuck. Where is he fucking How? Just, just relax. Where's the bullets? Where's the bullets? I don't know. I have some in my mind. I don't know where he went. Right of the power pole. To the right of the power pole or left? Right of the power pole. Right. Right, right of the power pole. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got it. He's walking this way. Okay. He's walking this way. Still moving. Okay. It's holding still. He got him. He got him. He got him. Reload. He's Where'd you over. say he is? He's below the power lines. So if you follow the power lines, um, yeah, you, before you, before you, before right where, where that big opening is, that clearing, yeah. there's the power lines. There's one, two, three, four. You'll see him. There's an opening. He's below that in all that thick fucking brush. So Jake went out there um, to see if he can locate the deer. We kind of waited a little while, so we impressed him. Hopefully, we, were, you know, we saw a hit on him. We saw a pretty good hit on him. His ass went down. Um, 
and I did see him limping, kind of favoring one side, and he hit some brush back here. Uh, so Jake decided to go down there, check it out by himself so we don't press him, and hopefully he, you know, bled out and he's sitting there. But Jake's been down there for a good five minutes, um, see him looking for blood, see him looking for stuff, and so far we haven't really seen anything. He hasn't really given us a sign of whether or not he found anything. He's still looking now. So um, we're hopeful. I have faith in my man, Jake. I didn't see a drop of blood. I looked. You saw me? Yeah. Oh, no, we did. Dude, you out there 100%, but I uh, just. I figured high shot. I was looking on most branches. Yeah. About that level. Nothing. No blood, no blood on the ground. No blood anywhere. I figured him going through that thick brush. It would be something. If there was blood. He'd be on it. You'd be able to see it on the branches as he was going through and busting through, but I couldn't pick up anything. And my light was perfect, so. He definitely hit him. Yeah, it had to have been just that perfect, that perfect spot. That's what Grady just said. Just hit him right in that dead zone. That dead zone, yeah, that's what Grady said. Right under the spine, right above the vitals. It is, happens, that's hunting. That's hunting. Yeah. Well, it's what, almost 8.30? Yeah, we gotta pack up, right? Meet those guys back to skin and shed at 9.30 and go, so maybe we'll find a, maybe we'll find a buck on the way back. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks, brother. You no earned your pay today. <laughs> that's what I'm here for, man. That's what I'm here for. Uh.